We now come to the Susie Cornell Child of Courage Award. This is for inspirational children who've achieved despite adversity. But the judges look for a combination of courage, determination, and a positive disposition. I'd like to ask Susie Cornell to present the awards and please give a big hand to her helper and co-presenter, winner of this year's Kids Voice competition, as it's his own, Jess Folly. The first highly commended child of courage is Aaliyah Montgomery from Braintree. Aaliyah was born with a very rare condition called Clippel Trenoni Weber syndrome. Coupled with this, she has left leg lymphedema and her immune system is almost non-existent. This combination means that she has frequent bouts of cellulitis resulting in regular hospital visits for up to a week at a time. Now despite all she has to contend with. She remains a happy girl and has an exemplary academic record at school. Her ambition is to become a doctor who specializes in her rare condition. She's here with her three very proud sisters. Please welcome, highly commended, child of courage, Aaliyah Montgomery. Still looking for other alternative methods. But meantime, Erin is a brave little girl who, even though she hates her daily routine, as you can see, always has a smile on her face and just gets on with her life. And her mum says, due to her problems, Ellen is sick a lot, yet remains caring and loving. She always tries to put other people before herself. Ladies and gentlemen, well, highly commended, Charles and Charles. Next highly commended child of courage is Brogan Lawrence from Braintree. At his premature birth, Brogan weighed only three pounds one ounce. He had many complicated medical problems resulting from a hemorrhage, leaving three small holes on the left side of his brain. Now doctors advised of a doubtful future, hearing, speech, sight, mobility, and cerebral palsy would all be major problems for Brogan. Well, three years ago, his parents engaged a private specialist for weekly intense therapy. Due to Brogan's hard work and courage, he's managed to progress so much that he entered mainstream education at St Michael's School, Braintree. He is now a happy and healthy seven-year-old who likes to ride his adapted trike and to swim and is known in school for his cheeky sense of humour. Please welcome highly commended child of courage, Brogan Lawrence. Yay! Jacob has been fighting a very aggressive form of cancer for more than three years. He's had many stays in Great Ormond Street Hospital. And currently, he's undergoing a new immune therapy trial in which cells are taking, taken from him, genetically modified, and then returned. 
He's only the third child ever to undergo such treatment. Now, Jacob is known for his lovely smile and cheerful disposition, and despite all the medical interventions he faces, he rarely complains. One of his highlights this year was being a mascot at Southend United Football Club. Now, we hope that tonight will provide another highlight, but unfortunately, the new treatment is so tiring that Jacob is unable to be here to collect his award personally. Now, hopefully he will get to see this presentation later on video. Meanwhile, the job has been delegated to his nan, Chris, and his grandfather, Vic. So, please give them a really huge welcome, and maybe, just maybe, Jacob will hear it from his home. Nan and Grandad, highly commended child of courage, Jacob Jones. The Child of Courage for 2017 is eight-year-old Thomas Quincy from Rochford. Thomas was born with a rare genetic condition called Allodile Syndrome, which, amongst other issues, affected his liver, heart, and his growth. From six months old, he was put on medication and tube-fed. At five years, he received a liver transplant, and despite complications, he pulled through. Since then, He's gone from strength to strength, so much so that he took part in the British Transplant Games in 2016 and won Beaver Scout of the Year with his unit. He likes playing games on his iPad and computer. He likes Star Wars, jigsaws, animals, and wearing odd socks. <laughs> he started a new special needs school this year and won a trophy for being so helpful and showing staff how to do his tube feed. He has had many certificates of achievement from Brainwave and gives his best effort in everything that he does. The Cornell Centre Child of Courage for 2017, Thomas Quincy. Thomas Quincy. 